Hello guys and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, my name is Miranda. Um, sorry about the echo in this part of the room. I think I talk about it in the actual video. Uh, I'm not really sure what to do about it. But hopefully it's not that bad. I am using my mic on my camera like I have a external mic and I'm not sure if he's really going to help all that much. But today I'm going to be showing you guys basically my everyday makeup routine based on the pictures that I have posted on Instagram that I've gotten comments on about either wanting a tutorial or just people really liking how it looks. So I figured I would do a video and show you everything that I do. This is a full face. Um, it's not just the eyes. I am doing my everyday makeup routine showing you all the products that I use to do it. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video. So without further ado, let's get started. So I'm not sure how echoey this part of my room is. When I first moved around my stuff, I didn't even think about how talking in this small space would be. But today I'm going to be showing you guys how I get ready, basically. This is my winter makeup routine. So, to get started, I am using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. Um, I'm sad because I don't like using products that are not cruelty free, but in the winter, nothing lays on my skin nicely except this foundation. I really love the Urban Decay Naked um, the Stay Naked foundation, it's absolutely beautiful, but in the winter it dries my skin out so bad and no, no amount of moisturizer fixes it. It's unfortunate. My skin is so sensitive and so dry in the winter and I live in Ohio, if you didn't know, and our winter is tragic, truly. And my skin is constantly suffering, honestly. But I'm just going to be using the Sephora collection partnered with Milk. This is the foundation brush. I'm actually getting ready today because um, I have this Blink 182 shirt on right now. And we are selling it on my like thrifting Instagram. Um, if you guys didn't know, I have... An Instagram basically where me and my boyfriend run it. I don't think I've ever said that, but me and my boyfriend run it together. Um, I always say we in like the posts and stuff, but it is me and my boyfriend. Um, unfortunately, you guys probably will not meet him. <laughs> um, he's very much not into like you know, being that, like, he's not like me where I'm on Instagram and I have a decent following on Instagram and I make videos and I'm on the internet, like, I'm online. He's not. <laughs> and, you know, he's told me that it is, you know, pretty intimidating to look at my following and be like, oop, I don't want people to know, like, anything about me, which I understand. But I've just been online for so long that I'm not leaving, so. But, yeah. Me and him run it together. But anyway, we're selling this shirt, but I wanted to take my own pictures so I could post, like, my own aesthetic type photo on my main page to promote the store. Because I'm not really one for promoting myself or anything that I do, ever. Um, I'm just, it makes me uncomfortable, I don't really know why, I'm just not very good at being a marketing person. So yeah, I'm getting ready to do that, to take pictures for that, and also just to create content for my Instagram because I need it. And I'm also going to be redoing my hair, but I have a product from a company that I'm going to be using and doing that to make posts for Instagram for them. And today I'm getting ready so I can use the new ColourPop 
Um, the Valentine's Day collection, I do have that. They sent me it. I got the box yesterday. Yes. I got it delivered yesterday. So I'm going to be using their palette and then eventually make a post on Instagram for that. Also, I have a really cute Valentine's Day mug. The handle is also a heart. I got this from Walmart. I also have the pink one where the hearts are kind of the same color as my hair. So go to Walmart if you're interested in mugs. I'm quite the mug connoisseur myself. I didn't want this to be a chatty video, but maybe it just will be. I don't really know. So concealer. Um, if anybody can recommend me a concealer that isn't like super drying or ugly because the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer is the only concealer that I can use that matches my skin pretty nicely. It's very easy. I can wear it on its own for days that I don't want to wear foundation and it's not like dry. Um, I also have the Milk the Flex Concealer but sometimes I feel like even this is too drying and I just don't know what to do. In winter, I can't use anything <laughs> that I like. Like this color is just perfect. And it just works for, you know, the type of skin that I have. Also, I'm able to put this on my nose and it doesn't look like poop. It blends in so nicely. I wish they would go cruelty free because then I could, you know, not feel bad using it. But this is the only concealer that I can use that it's just, it's flawless on my skin. Especially in the winter because I be looking crusty <laughs> and it's super ugly. <laughs> The other day I did my makeup and I hated it so much. And I've just been having kind of a lot. I've been going through it with my appearance and like my self image. Like I like how I look sometimes. <laughs> and then some days I'm like, why do I look like that? Like I look like a boy. <laughs> like why am I a boy? I just want to know why like this ugh, I don't want to promote it because like I don't want people to go buy it but this concealer is the only thing that works for me in the winter and like I said I if I want to wear like a no makeup day well no makeup like a no foundation day the concealer I can put it all over my face and it blends perfectly and it looks beautiful and I hate that I can't find like a cruelty free dupe for it. I have the Urban Decay. I don't know what the, I think it's the Stay Naked concealer. That made me look so crusty. I've never looked more like a desert on my face, my under eyes, unheard of. They looked, I looked like I was physically ill and on the verge of dying. I was so cracky. It was gross. I don't recommend that. Moving on to cream contour, which is blessed, a blessed product, honestly. Um, I use the e.l.f. cream contour little quad. As you can see, I use that shade. I don't know what color, they're not really like named. Um, but I have, it's not even, I think I just, I think I only have one cream contour, actually, but I'm using the Real Techniques 301 brush. It's perfect for my cream contour. It, you know, is the perfect, like, width and size for it. I think that this is a contour brush, I think, but I used to use it for powder. And then cream got introduced into my life. And let me tell you that I have not gone back to powder since. I don't know how I was using powder, honestly. Especially with my dry skin, using creams, um, as many creams as I can, really, is the best thing that I can do for my skin. I feel like I never know how to cream contour, like how to, not how to contour my nose, really. 
Um, some days it looks really good and then other days I feel like I've never picked up a brush in my whole life and I don't know how to do anything. So for my powder, I switch up between, I don't have it actually on my desk. I use either the ColourPop No Filter Translucent Powder, which is beautiful. It makes my skin look so flawless. Also, I'm almost, actually no, no, I have a lot. <laughs> um, I'm, yeah, I have a lot, I lied. I'm not running out. But I've been using the Milk Makeup, what is this? This is just the Translucent Light. I, uh, I don't really know what this is called. It's just like, I don't think it's part of the Flex line. But she's cute. I like her a lot. She makes me look pretty good. I remember a long time ago, I used to never use loose powders because they always made my skin look awful. But I've learned that I don't like HD powders. Those are awful. Normal translucent powders though, amazing. And the brush I'm using for under my eyes and basically I set under my eyes, my nose, around my nose and then my chin and then I leave like my cheeks and stuff pretty open and don't really set it just because again my skin is so dry um, but I don't want creasing in these areas and stuff like that so I set that only. I'm using the Luxie 660. It is the Precision Foundation Brush. I don't think this would be good for foundation, but it's great for powder, if I do say so myself. So before I blush, I'm going to go ahead and apply fake freckles, but also I do have like actual beauty marks that like, covered up by foundation that I like to put back onto my face. And I'm using the IT Cosmetics Airbrush Ultra Fine Liner. It is the 130 brush, super duper tiny, itty bitty. Going back into my cream contour. I use the lighter shade that I use like for my actual contour on my nose and just do really tiny dots. I do have freckles naturally on my nose so I pretty much just try and put them where my actual freckles are so it looks obviously the most natural because I don't have that many um, because I haven't gotten a lot of sun, but also I, I really don't go in the sun anymore. Um, we're trying to save our skin in 2020 and in 2019. I'm trying to. I'm trying to wear sunscreen. Sunscreen. I'm trying to wear sunscreen whenever I'm out in the sun, usually. And then I'm using this color right below it, um, and that's what I use for my like it's not a mole but like I do have actual spots but also I put them over any bumps that have decided to walk on themselves onto my face I have like a gigantic fucking mountain on my chin because I'm on my period, so hormones just be doing that to us. If you have a pimple that you feel sad about, just put brown over them and then make them a freckle or a mole or a beauty mark or whatever you call them. So that's almost the base done. I just have to do blush. And lately, I've started using a new brush to apply my blush. Slumis. Slumis glam but this is the yeah i mean it's through ipsy but maybe you can get them like the brand in general but this is the b36 tapered highlight brush but i use it for my blush and my blush that i pretty much use every day honestly is this city color little b matte blush trio but i use the color at the very end 
this one. It's a very like dusty rose kind of color. It's very pigmented. It's actually really good. Um, I've had this for a while and that's why I'm using it up. I won't repurchase it once it's gone just because I don't think City Color is cruelty free. I guess I should find that out. But I didn't buy this. It was a gift from my grandma because she doesn't know any better about makeup products. But she picked out a good trio so I'm not mad about it. And I also kind of blend this into like the outer corner of my eye just because I will be putting shadow there anyway and it kind of helps to blend that color into an already existing color. Alright, so now that the base is done, we can move on to eyes. And like I said, today I have the new ColourPop Valentine's Day collection. Um, the packaging is so cute. I really, really like it. It's definitely up my alley for like aesthetic and like part of it. I don't know if you guys can actually. Yeah, I guess you kind of can. Some of it is like a very soft um, matte and then other parts of it are like a patent, like a shiny plastic type thing. I don't really know how to explain it. But I'm basically going to, that was not words. I'm basically going to be recreating um, the look that I do for most of my selfies that I've gotten lots of comments on about people commenting on my makeup that they like it. Um, it's basically... Let me get my septum them out. It's basically um, a very simple eye, just one color on um, my big liner, um, bottom liner, and then my lashes. So it's very simple, very easy to do, but I get lots of comments on it that people really like how it looks. So I figured for a video, I would do my everyday sort of look. Typically, I've been using very neutral colors just because they're very easy on the eyes. Um, they're very quick and easy to do. And I'm hoping that you guys will be able to recreate it pretty easily. But here's what the palette looks like. It should be out now, I'm pretty sure. Um, I do have a code with ColourPop. I don't earn commission on it. It's just a discount code. Um, but it's... Miranda 5? Five? 5 Miranda? Uh, I'll have it down here, whatever my code is. And you can get, I think it's 5% off of your order if you want, but it's up to you. So, the brush that I'm using, which is my favorite brush, honestly, is the Morphe M441. It's honestly a perfect, perfect brush perfect crease like blending brush it's the perfect shape it's got the perfect amount of round to it the only thing is once you wash them once they do get kind of crazy but I don't mind that personally um, as long as it still works that's all I really care about so um maybe I should zoom you guys in a little bit I don't know first I'm gonna go in with the color cha-cha which is this one right here. It's a very light, neutral, warm color. And that's what I'm gonna start off with. I think today I will be using two colors just to make some dimension, if you will. But yeah, the Morphe M441. This brush is so wonderful. I love using it for all my blending needs. Typically I would be using like a more brown neutral shade but this one you know is a little more pinky all right i think that's pretty much good as far as blending goes then for the lower lash line i'm using the same color and this is the brush i'm using i know it was also from ipsy but it's like their tetris collection it's actually super, super cute i like it a lot but it's just a very small compact brush that's really good for sweeping underneath the lower lash line all right so i got that then going back to my original brush the morphe m441 and not not taking more product i am just going to really blow out the lower lash line just to kind of make it so there's not a harsh edge and then there's a nice like 
not gradient because it's not really a gradient, but that there's a nice like fade and not just like a crazy eye. You know what I mean? Maybe. And for my inner corner, I'm very excited because Kat Von D no longer owns Kat Von D, so now I can pretty much freely, I feel pretty good talking about their products again. Um, I do have a few Kat Von D items, one being the Fetish Palette. I love this palette. Um, it has some of my favorite highlighters in it. They're just so glittery, but I love a glittery highlight. Um, my favorite is the center one called Magic. And that's what I'm going to be using on my inner corner today. I hope that's in focus. I think it's in focus. I don't know. I'm kind of far away, so sorry. But for this brush, I'm using the Luxie 141. It's the mini round brush. This is perfect for applying my inner corner highlight. Um, but yeah, like I said, uh, I love Cap On D highlights. Um, a lot of people don't like them because they're very chunky and glittery and that's exactly what I like. And I ma it makes me sad when people are always like, we don't want more glittery highlight. And I'm like, I would please stop saying that. I'm really happy that I can talk about these and not feel bad because Kat Von D kind of sucks as a person. Yikes. So now eyeliner. Exciting. Um, usually I use the House Labs eyeliner, liquid liner. Um, I wish this was a brush tip so bad. I really hope that Lady Gaga puts out a brush tip liquid liner because I also really love, if I can find it, the Urban Decay Perversion. This one's waterproof, but I don't really care about that. Um, the Urban Decay Perversion brush tip. This is beautiful. I love a brush tip. They apply for me the easiest. Um, but this is like so black and so matte, and it's beautiful and it's perfect for liner. So I definitely recommend the House Labs. I know a lot of people are not excited about Lady Gaga's line, and that. They're very simple colors and stuff like that. But the liner, she did so well. Um, it's so pretty for a liner. I mean, as pretty as the liners go, but. If, you're, if you were ever thinking about buying anything from House Labs, the eyeliner is the best. And I have the black one, of course. So, we're just gonna draw on my liner and I'm just gonna be quiet because I can't talk while I do this. So before I do my mascara, I am going to go ahead and do my bottom liner. And for that, I use the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil. Right now, I'm using the shade Zero. Um, I also, my first Urban Decay product, I think, was the eyeliner like this in the shade Perversion, which is like black. And Zero is also black, so they're pretty much the same. But these liners, I remember when I was like 18. No, I would have been 19. When I was 19, these were the liners that I used. And here we are, back full circle, coming through. But I really just apply this on the very outer part of my eye, on the lower lash line. Not on the lash line, on the water line. I'm not drawing on my lash line. This is directly on my waterline, and then I will smudge it onto the lash line. And then I'm just using, this is the Real Techniques Point Extra 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 Small, <laughs> super tiny. Um, this is great for smudging anything like either shadow, liner, whatever you want on the lower lash line. So. I really try not to bring it in towards my inner corner. I really just put it maybe a little bit past um, like the center of my eye. And then that's really how you're starting to look emo. 
Like the big liner is one thing, but adding the waterline liner makes me feel like I am 12 again. Except when I was 12, I used to put it all along the waterline and that was not a look. I'm not sure why that was a thing that everybody did in 2007. It was not cute. So, mascara. My favorite mascara is the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. This is so wonderful. And I really like the packaging. It's just like... What's the... It's textured, but like, I don't... Ribbed. So I'm just going to put this on my bottom and top lashes. Then for my actual highlight, I'm going back into Magic. And I'm using the Morphe M510, which this is like the... YouTube beauty guru most popular brush I think I've ever seen on YouTube, but it really is a good brush, so the Big gurus are not lying about that And this is like super crazy shiny But I love it Alrighty almost done. Um for our lashes as I wipe off the foundation off my mouth mid sentence great um, I don't have the case with me. I mean, here's the case. But I'm going to be using my Bold Face Makeup Alter Ego Lashes. They're big. They're fluffy. They're only like $8. But I'm going to go ahead, apply my lashes, and then I'll be right back. Okay, then for lips... Typically, I will do the slightest bit of overlining, and I use the Ofra lip liner in the shade Silk. This is like the closest thing to my actual lip color that I have that, you know, isn't super obvious. But I really just try to make my lips a little less pointy because my cupid's bow is pretty defined and my top lip is so tiny. I hate it. Then my favorite lip product that I use is the ColourPop Ultra Blotted Lip in the shade Zuma. But these are like very subtle and this is almost identical to my lip color. It blends in so nicely. And I just put some on the bottom and then I use my finger to blend out the top. And that just helps to like, you know, it adds a little bit more color to my lips, but it's very subtle and it's like literally almost identical to my lip color. And then it just helps to blend in that liner, which is great. But yeah, guys, that is pretty much my everyday makeup routine. Um, if I'm, you know, kind of out of ideas of what I want to do or if I'm just trying to quickly get ready, this is the basic look that I will do. Um, very simple. I think it's pretty easy to recreate if you wanted, but since I got so many comments on people liking it and wanting a tutorial, um, I figured why not do it? I do have some other Valentine's Day content that I'm going to be working on, so hopefully you guys are excited about that. I have some different looks in my mind that I would love to do before Valentine's Day. But yeah, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up if you want, maybe subscribe. I don't really like to say that, so you do what you want, really. But it means a lot, and it helps support me. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Um, if, there's any, if there are any questions that you have for me about any products or something like that, um, go ahead and let me know, but I will try and link down everything that I can in the description So yeah, I love you guys a lot and I will see you in my next video. Bye